All right, everyone. Welcome back to another video of the Dimensionalist. I'm a Dimensionalist. Today's topic is going to be out be about um how to be beamed aboard a spaceship, uh light light beings, multidimensional entities, uh like Asher Sharon and Galactic Federation to be beamed aboard one of their spaceships. Um. So the requirements are, of course, you know, and I'm I'm reading from uh, the required list. Uh, in jotted notes one's intent motive and one's choices of free will the most important aspect and I'll tell you what it is because your free will to move forward in one direction of love and light and that's what anchors and rise of vibration or vibrational frequency and atomic physical structure being a light worker the light of earth entering the fourth dimension and free to be um, within the uh, the beam of uh, the frequency to match their spaceship um, they don't regard any negativity at all so that's why that's the most important uh, to be to see these beings to perceive them and your matter match the frequency of their ship and that love and light be anchored because if you don't have that intent that love and the free will you won't anchor anchor there uh, the second most important is how pure and healthy one's diet is, and I, uh, that's very important to be vegan, vegetarian, maybe eat a little bit of fish. Uh, we want to avoid animals most as possible. Uh, pesticides, preservatives. Uh, in my last video, one of my videos that I made about how, why Illuminati's are already controlling you, <laughs> is because you know foods, pesticides, uh, and to stay healthy of course we still still have with the food that they provide the FDA provided what food providers provided what you actually eat but you all, all all in all need to have a healthy 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 diet and vegan is the most correct and cultivating your own food and uh, you know enough to sustain yourself uh, the third most important is whether one meditates and does light decrees invocation and praise um meditation silence the mind helps you clear negativity out of your mind and helps balance yourself and the four body system and do an alm uh that would be a chant prayer and alm like ah um, and hinduism is balances actually the physical astral body which is the emotional body in some aspects uh, the etheric body, the mental body, and the spiritual body all aligned. Do it with ah, uh, um, those three three syllables right there help balance out uh the four body system. Uh, does light decrees invocations, uh, visualization of light in your body help rise it to higher frequency. Uh, asking Metatron for for anchoring of light. Uh, ask uh, at the Octurians to anchor light, to increase light quotient. Ask 12 Archangels, uh, Chamuel, uh, Zod Kael, um, Sendalphon. Many of them got different different degrees of light and, and aspects that they, they provide um, for, you know, your light decrees and such. And ask the Ash Turk about how vibrates vibrates your frequency too. And who, whatever center master you may use, and use the rays of God. And uh, invocations, evoking, you know, angels and stuff like that. So, remember that. And praise, you know, if you pray to a certain religion, that doesn't mean you're limited to not having ascension. You can have ascension, and in any religion, you know, you feel feel that you can ascend through. Just make the effort to be, you are God, you're love and light, and you can ascend through love and light. And uh, the third most important aspect to be being aboard a spaceship, remember this is all for preparation of the physical body to be being aboard a spaceship, the use of quartz crystals and gemstones worn as pendants. And I'll tell you why uh, quartz crystals and gemstones, because it helps it helps balance the chakras, energy centers. We're made from the earth, we're made from we're free from the dirt of the earth, the human being is, and our DNA and our we're within the magnetic grid, uh crystalline. Uh, the carbon matter, the carbon matter is interfaces and directly matches frequencies of the chakra energy centers and the endocrine glands in the body to certain gems, uh, quartz crystals, amethysts, um, 
topaz, even diamonds, uh, and worn as pendants. So it's always on you and around you instead of just in your pocket or something. Even though it's in your pocket, you still get effect, but it's, it's better to have it around you so that it's centered, it's centered in the middle. And uh, that's why you focus on your intent, love, and light. Keep your diet straight. Meditate. Do your light decrees, invocation, and pray. And do these, do these crystal. Uh, have these crystals. It's so you help. Um, especially have your, you know, increase the vibrational frequency of your body. Uh, ascend through light and raise your light quote in love, love, in love. Uh, uh, invocating. Uh, doing, being spiritual. Um, looking for signs. Uh, necessarily have to be negative omens, positive omens. Seek positivity, uh, faith in positivity too. Positivity in your faith also, and it'll help bring your body into the state that the ascended masters observe. And like this, this man has done well. And plus, in the universal game of light versus dark, uh, that's how it works. Simply, we're interfacing in a carbon carbon structure, uh, physical matter. And that, in order for that to occur, those things are required. Love and light, and uh, of course, the, the, dis the discerning of negativity, evil, uh, harm, murder. Uh, that's why that's there, so you can anchor love and light. Because if the opposite wasn't there, well, of course, that's why, you know, game of love and light, uh, universal game, uh, polarity integration. You want to integrate towards light, you ascend through light, and you can be beamed aboard a spaceship. That's why it's possible and match the frequency to meet the ascended masters. Uh, uh, other than that, that's all I have to say about uh, requirements to be beamed aboard a spaceship and the revealing of such nature of, you know, to go that far. But as soon as you start to think negative and stuff like that, your, your frequency instantly drops and you won't be able to anchor that love and light anchor your chakras your energy you know your your everything in union is one uh you know with everything you've done and stuff uh, your, your free will and intent has went you know the other direction uh negativity and darkness has partially consumed you which knocks your uh, points your point system you know however you want to grade it down it, it, it actually affects you that's why some days you think positive 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 results negativity you know, you're anchor negative in your body. But remember, positive uh, helps rise, rise the frequency of your body. And positive things, uh, you know. So remember that. Love and light. Create love and light in your life. And you can anchor more love and light. And possibly at one point, if you have a healthy diet and you do the light decrees and you can convert your body to light, you can be beamed aboard a spaceship. That's the revealing of the requirements of being beamed aboard a spaceship. The Ashtar Command, one of the Galactic Federation ships, and or maybe the Octarians, you know, uh, whatever, you know, alliance you're a part of, of, of the beings of light, and uh, light being extraterrestrials from higher dimensions. Of course, I represent Ashashirin, Ashashirin. Uh Other than that, y'all take care. I hope y'all join another video of The Dimensionalist. Peace.